Welcome back to the channel. Today I have a special episode for you guys. I will be showing my entire shoe collection. I haven't done one of these style videos in quite some time. We're gonna cover everything. Slip-ons, basketball shoes, boots, derbies, everything, whole nine yards. So it's gonna be a long video, bear with me, and yeah, let's get into it. Since it is still summertime here in Chicago, we're gonna start off with all of the more summer shoes, so the slip-ons, and then work our way to boots and finish with basketball shoes and other sneakers. First up, I have these Rick Owens Birkenstocks, the gray Arizona iteration. These are so stunning. They are a showstopper. I bust these out every summer, actually whenever I can. They're so nice. And naturally, I had to get a second pair. This is the black iteration. Beautiful, beautiful. Every summer, you can wear these with shorts, you can wear these with pants. There is no wrong occasion for these slippers. While we're on the topic of Rick Owens Birkenstocks, here I have their Rick Owens Boston collab in the leather iteration. This comes in a few different iterations. There's like an iridescent color. There's like the suede. It also comes in an Arizona version. I wanted the Boston because with pants on, it kind of just looks like you're wearing a derby because of how the toe looks and then the heel is covered. So you really can't tell that it's a slip on. And I've seen people take these and add like chrome hardware to them. These are really simple, nothing too crazy. They pretty much just look like Birkenstocks, but they've been rickified with the longer strap here. And also worth mentioning the uh, Rick Owens Birkenstock collab. These are all um, narrower silhouettes. So if you see inside the little foot there, if it's filled in, I believe it's the narrow version. Whereas if it's not filled in, it's the wider version. Another Birkenstock, I think you guys can tell I'm a big fan of Birkenstocks. These are the Kyoto Birkenstocks and they're very reminiscent of the Fear of God Los Feliz. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Slides and yeah, I really like this strap mechanism setup. There's essentially two sets of Velcro. And I just think that they look a little classier than the Arizonas. And these I actually like to wear without socks and they're really nice. I think Birkenstocks really killed it with the Kyoto. Just like I have a few pairs of Birkenstocks, I also have a few pairs of Crocs. These are the Crocs Times Satisfy, which is a running brand collab and I really like this croc especially this colorway for the summertime I like this pull tab it's very gorpy yeah I think they just killed this collab because the bottom is just a regular croc whereas the top is is where that collaboration comes in I think they did a lot without doing too much let's just say that and naturally I have the same shoes in black this pair was the only one that caught my eye initially but after seeing the Tan pair in person, I decided to scoop those up as well for the summertime, but yeah, these are very sleek and simple. You can wear them with pants, you can wear them with shorts, and another shoe that I like to wear without socks. These, they're just your like standard croc. I'm just showing them because this is my full shoe collection. This and my real tree camel crocs are the ones that I wear at home or if I go vacation somewhere. I don't like walking around the Airbnb barefoot, so I'll bring a pair of slip-ons and walk around there and yeah. Next up, I have these slippers from the brand Keen. These are the Keen Shanties. I really like these because they're very structured. 
even the outsole, it's it's very sturdy and they're really comfortable. You won't hurt your toes with this design here. Yeah, these are very popular in, in Korea. That's where I first saw them. These are the Hoka Aura Recovery Slides. I really like them. I really like that chunky outsole. It gives you a, a little bit of extra height. They're really, really comfortable. This is my fourth pair because I picked up three for $10 each. And I believe they, Hoka has come out with a new design for the Aura Recovery. I think I like this one a little more because they're not too sporty. And you can kind of wear these with jeans too, actually. You can get away with that. These right here, the North Face Thermal Ball Mule. These had me in a chokehold all winter long. I love that the back can just fold over or you can put it in what I like to call sport mode. They're warm and they match my nupsie. I wear my nupsie a ton too in the winter time. So these are great. If you wear like a wider fitting pant, they look really nice. They sit on these very nice. But I will say they're very low to the ground. They don't give you any extra height or anything like that. These are the Stephanie Workers Club slip-ons in collaboration with Junya Watanabe Comne Garçon Man. And yeah, they just look like Vans slip-ons, but the outsole is much chunkier, much higher quality, just well-built. It gives you a little extra height too. And yeah, the outsole, back to the outsole, it really reminds me of the Visvim Skagways. Look at the bottom, I love that. I love that. And they're really, really simple. Something very similar to that last pair are these. These are the Vans Notra collab. I think these are just your standard old schools, but instead of the Vans, it's this like handshake motif that Notra has sort of adopted as their own logo. They came with white laces, but I swapped them out for the black and I pretty much only wear these to bike in. It's kind of like a skater vibe, except I stopped skating, I only bike now. The outsole is, is pretty heavy duty on this, much nicer than your standard old school. And yeah, I just beat these up. Pretty low key, pretty, pretty subtle. Next, I have the New Balance Bryant Giles collab. These are the 2002R Mules. When I first saw these, I was not sold on them. I was with my girlfriend and she said that they would they look really nice on me and I tried them on and they're extremely comfortable. I do love the design. It features this little like removable Velcro New Balance logo here. There's some more design in, in the insole. They're really, really comfortable. New Balances are comfortable, and the fact that they're a mule just make them that much better and practical for daily wear. While we're talking about New Balances, I have here another 2002R. These are the protection pack. I think they're called like the rain cloud or something like that. I won these in a raffle actually, so I paid retail for them. And yeah, I really like these. They just remind me of your standard 990 V3, but they've obviously made some tweaks to it to make it a little more special. And yeah, I think these are, these are quite expensive to get your hands on these days. Again, very, very comfortable. I like the deconstructed design to these. But yeah, the colors are what really sold me. So classic, but at the same time, we're seeing some innovation here in terms of design. Next, I have the Nike Shox Martine Rose collab. These are my favorite, favorite shoes. I will say they're not that comfortable, especially if you're on your feet for long periods of time, but man, these are sexy. There's no other way to describe it. Look at that toe box. It, it's almost like a heel, but it's sporty. And these hit home for me because growing up, I wore Nike Shox so much. So to be able to see Nike Shox in the fashion space with these or like the Skepta joints, it's, it's so cool.
Next, I have my 1985 original Air Jordan 1s. These are the Chicago's. Yeah, these are these need no introduction whatsoever. The best Air Jordan 1 silhouette, you know. They're so beat. Everything's original, except the laces. Laces are not original. Yeah, this shoe's older than me. And I absolutely needed these. These are never going anywhere because, you know, I'm from Chicago, Chicago ones. I love basketball. I can't say MJ is my favorite basketball player, but these are a hit. I've always wanted these. And to have the original pair, that's just so surreal. Speaking of the 85s, these unfortunately are not the original. These are a re-edition and I think they're pretty, they're pretty close to the original pair. I will say they fit a little more narrow than I'd like. I, I think those are just really worn in whereas these are still brand new. And I've just been, I've wore them maybe once or twice just so that the glue will set in and I've been keeping them on ice really because I wanna whip these out maybe like 10 years from now. And yeah, I had to pay a lot for these just because I couldn't get them for retail, but these are not going anywhere either. I've always wanted a pair of the neutral grays. I think the neutral grays and the Chicago's are two of the best Air Jordan 1 colorways. And yeah, just look at them. So nice. My last pair of Jordans, these are the Mocha 3s. This is a re-edition. This is not the original pair. So, or a re-release. I feel like no one says re-edition when they're talking about retro Jordans. So this is a re-release of the retro Jordan 3 in the Mocha colorway. And I think they did a pretty good job with this re-release. When these first came out, I wore them nonstop. They're so comfortable. They're so wearable. They're so low key. They're so, they're just so nice, you know? Since then, I've cleaned them and just put them on ice. I'm gonna bust them out maybe a few years down the line and yeah, these are also, you know, they're a chunkier shoe, which is something I typically don't gravitate towards, but these are an exception. So clean. Next up, I have the Solomon XT6. It's very explore page-esque. A lot of people hate these. A lot of people love them. I think they're pretty clean. I think they're a sleek looking shoe and just like the pop of color right there. They're pretty comfortable. I've worn these to do light hikes in and I think everyone could use a pair of these Solomon XT6. They're, it's a classic design. I think the black colorway is just so clean. Another Solomon, this is a more recent pickup. These are the Solomon ACS Pros. When these were released, they literally broke the internet. Look at the hardware on there. Look at just how like aggressive this shoe looks. It's also very clean. Yeah, I don't think I'll hike in these. These are just gonna be for fits. You get me fam. Next up, more of a luxury sneaker. These are the Margella Replica GATS. GAT stands for German Army Trainer. I feel like everyone knows that already. And these have been with me for years. I wanna say like at least five years and they've gone everywhere with me across the world. When I was living in Japan, these were my daily drivers. They're so comfortable. I can't say I've tried every luxury sneaker that there is, but these I can vouch for, and I think they're one of the most comfortable sneakers in the luxury space. And I think this color is just so classic, so clean. It's one of the original colorways, and these never get dirty. Like I hardly ever have to clean them, and if I just brush them a little bit, they look good as new. Speaking of classic colorways, this is the most classic colorway, another Margiela replica Gat, and these were gifted to me last year, so, you know, I think these are the only two colorways I really need. They're so clean. I think before I bought the last pair, I wanted this pair more, but I was just worried that they would get dirty. And I will say that these do get dirty easily, but a little bit of Jason Mark and Good as new. Speaking of luxury sneakers, here are my Rick Owens Ramones. These are mainline, so they're leather. And yeah, they're still in pristine condition. I don't wear them as much as maybe other people do. I, I don't really like beating these. I want to wear them in, but not beat them where like the sole is 
not the soul, but like like tons of heel drag and all that stuff. I, I don't like that. I tend to wear these with a tighter knot. I know some people like to wear them very loose. I know a lot of people don't like wearing Ramones because of how like mainstream they've become, but I don't think these are going anywhere and I'm not gonna sell them and I have no interest in selling them or getting rid of them. They're just a shoe that I really wanted. If anything, I wanna add more Ramones to my collection, like the Babel Ramones even. I have here my Guidi 792Vs V4 Vibram sole. And these are beautiful. I got these a few years ago. I love lacing it and wrapping it around the outsole. I think the shape is really nice. It has like a very round toe. This is just such a clean derby, such a clean silhouette and horse leather because they're Guidi. Love them. I love the 792V so much. I got the 795Vs, which is essentially the same shoe, really, except this is a, a boot. So they're combat boot, Vibram sole. Same like long laces, except I would wrap them around my ankle instead. So clean, such a beautiful shape. I wanted these for a long time. I was able to get them maybe a year ago. My final pair of Guidis so far, this is the one that started it all, my small collection. These are the Guidi PL2s, and I love these. I've added the Vibram sole that came with it, took it to the cobbler, added it. I love the heel. I love the front zip. These are just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. The leather is so supple. That Guidi horse leather, it just hits different. Oh, God. Right here, I have my SLP St. Laurent Perry combat boots, and I believe these are from fall winter 2015. Such a nice combat boot. They're very reminiscent of the Dior Navigates. The sole is still, you know, tons of life, tons of life. I got them used, but very gently used. And something about the Dior Navigates, they don't have this cushioning right here at the upper ankle area, so. These are a little more ideal, nice toe. Yeah, beautiful, great. I've been wearing them for years now. So that my 792Vs don't get completely trashed, I have these Doc Martin 1461 monos that I wear if I go out to maybe like a bar or a club that you know, in case someone spills a drink. And I think these are really clean. I used to own some Prada derbies and these look very similar to them for a fraction of the price. So definitely get the monos. The difference with the monos is that they're just fully blacked out. So clean. So these are essentially a high version of my 1461 monos. These are the 1460 monos. These are the eight eyelet version. Yeah, I think they have a nice shape. I like that they're blacked out. Even this like pull tab is completely blacked out. Everything just blacked out. Nice shape, nice toe, and I don't have to think too much about it. If they get ruined, they get ruined. To round off the boots, I have these Alix ROA hiking boots, and just look at the distressing on them. Look at the red laces and I think they have a version of just the regular ROA non-collab, but it doesn't have this distressing and yeah, they're just not as cool, you know. These are just nicer. These are a grail, I'd say. I've had these for years. I wanted them for a really long time. I was able to get them for a very reasonable price. Unfortunately, I don't have the box for these, but yeah, these are so sick, so nice, and the only ROAs I'll ever need. Of course, Vibram Soul too. Right here, I have the A6 Gel Corica, I think that's how it's pronounced, in collaboration with Kiko Kostadinov. I really wanted Kiko's first A6, the Gel Burrs 1, but obviously those cost an arm and a leg, so when these came out, I had to scoop them. They're so clean, I love the shape, I love this. They're sporty, but they can be worn with pants and yeah, 
they're really nice. It's been a few years since these first came out. I still wear them a ton and these are going nowhere. Moving into runners and basketball shoes, these are the Adidas Ultra Boost. This is the colorway that, or one of the colorways that Ye used to wear. This is um, a re-release. I think the materials and the quality and the technology are better in the re-release. But yeah, they. I don't really wear these that often. I was running in them for a bit, but I don't think they're the best shoe to run in either. But I thought I would show them still. I think the colorway on this is pretty nice and just throw back to like 2015, you know. Another throwback are these Nike fly knits. They're so cooked. Literally look at the outsole. It's like falling apart. I've glued it back several times. I don't really wear these much. I will wear them in the summertime sometimes without socks because they're super breathable. I really like these shoes at one point, so I don't want to get rid of them or anything, and I don't even think they're worth anything, really. These are my new running shoes, what replaced the Ultra Boost. These are the Sock Me Triumph 20s. Look at how beefy that outsole is. Yeah, and they're really sleek, kind of similar to my Asics, except these are Sock Me's and yeah, the Triumph is one of the lines that Sockney offers that's just been around for a long time. Like the Triumph 21 is out now, so these are old news. Moving into basketball shoes, I have here my Kobe 11 Elite Lows. This is the Bruce Lee colorway, and I got these for an absolute steal. They were $100 from a friend without box, brand new, and I wore them so much, like the grip is completely gone, the the yellow is very stained because people stepping on them and whatnot. I love these. If anyone has a pair of these in a nine and a half for a reasonable price, hit me up because I love these basketball shoes. I just want to have another pair of, like on ice or something, you know, or for like just shooting around. I will not beat them like this pair. RIP Kobe, RIP one of the greatest. Look at that, someone scuffed my swoosh so bad. Jeez. These are the LeBron 20s. They just came out this past season and this is probably his best shoe yet. I think the LeBron 20 literally saved the LeBron line because there were so many misses. That's my favorite player, but let's keep it a buck. You know what I mean? The LeBron 7s are cool. Maybe some of like the very first shoes in his line were okay, but these are a hit. These are very reminiscent of Kobe's. They're a contemporary Kobe is what I like to call them. This colorway is absolutely sick. And everybody in the, in the league was wearing these all season long. They're, they're such great shoes. I'm not gonna lie. They're such great shoes. I love them so much that I had to double up on them. This is the best colorway he came out with, I think. Look at the color. Look at that pink, that neon pink. So clean and so comfortable. Love me a low top basketball shoe. Another pair of basketball shoes, a discontinued line. These are the Kyrie 4 N7s. These were a birthday gift. They're really, really comfortable. They're great for, you know, people that like to get low on their crossovers if you get what I'm talking about. These days I just wear these if I ever hoop outside because I have better shoe options. I don't know, actually I might just clean them up and just start wearing them indoors again because literally they're discontinued now. Kyrie's with Anta. My final pair of basketball shoes, these are the Harden Volume 7. They really remind me of Kobe's shoe with Adidas. I think they're called the Crazy Ones. And then also the back here just reminds me of the D Roses. I'm from Chicago and I remember watching him like his MVP season, 
His shoes had the three stripes on the back. And yeah, this is just such a nice shoe. I will say that the white colorway of this shoe looks even better than the black. Got this like sock lining here. Yeah, super cool. That wraps up my full shoe collection, 2023. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked it, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you guys very, very soon.